Okay, so I got a few beers and I'm gonna do them. Videos will be back to back, so don't be alarmed. I'm sipping on them, but uh, I crack and put times between them because uh, it can catch up to you. But this one, I had to read up on it. So black IPA is apparently is like an oxymoron. And then they have uh, Cascadia um, Ale is like another version. And then they have uh, uh, an Indian, um, an American uh, black IPA. And apparently it's not correct. So the Cascadia one has very strong malt notes in it compared to the other one. So it's kind of like, okay, is this could qualify as an IPA because it has all that hops in it. But technically, it's really just like a Cascade Ale. But it's not the same because it doesn't have the same distinct malt characteristics. So there's a whole argument. People that are, live and make beer, they're going to want to play with this or they're just not going to. They're just like, oh, I can't stand it. You know, like there's some the DJs, I forgot, there's a few of them, they cannot stand dubstep because it breaks all the rules. There's really no actual rhythm and rules to it. But there's a, a specific way to make it happen with all these songs. So it's just one of those things where like a group of people love it, they go for it, but then there's these ones that do it right, do the good thing, they've been doing it forever, and they're like, you're just ruining everything for me. <laughs> That's a, and I didn't know that, but this Black IPA is hoppy, roasted, and classy. I did have it. I really didn't do a good uh, review on it because I was uh, hanging out in a good time, so I was very excited and happy to get this, and it was a seasonal thing. So the guy was like, yep, got the last two six packs and I grabbed one of them. So I left one so somebody can hopefully try it and be very happy with it. Uh, it's a, they like to picture a black IP in a tuxedo t-shirt because it says it's formal, but it's down to party. We like to party. So we went our black IPA to a party to bring in with confidence from three classy yet stylish hop cascade. Uh, on Tim and Simcoe tuxedo t-shirt is isn't afraid to be late to your house party because the party doesn't start till crisp and awesomely hoppy beer arrive. That's what they wrote on it. Hopefully I read it right. But yeah, no, it's cool. Um, this is the first time I've seen the can. It's 6.5 uh, ABV and 41 IBUs, which I'm still very conflicted because I've had stuff that would be like chocolatey and... Uh, coffee like that are so bitter they they remind me of like the hops just without all the greenness to it but apparently hops just has the most bitters on it so i don't know i feel it should be a different scale but obviously people know what they're doing so I can't argue unless i can prove it so this obviously will have darker brown color it's gonna be like a porter it'll remind you of any brown deep brown ale so for me, it just worked out. So when you get to the toasty part, like I said, there's going to be bitterness. And the crazy part is like amino acids. It's just like a salt and an acid or protein that got together and it's in all food. So I can't stand the argument of MSG. No added MSG means they didn't put additional, but all meats have it. Mushrooms have it. It's very common. Umami is the description of the flavor. And two bitters, two amino acids, they can complement each other and make it more flavorful. Like two types of chilies can cancel each other out or they can make it more vibrant and fruit flavorful or they can just make it hot, you know? So with this, I feel the toasty umami malt with the beautiful bitterness from the hops to me just really brightens it up in a weird way, even though it's dark. So yeah, it has this very sweet, buttery hoppiness to it already off the nose. You smell that? It smells gorgeous. It smells like a formal but very exciting party you want to be at. And there it is. So I get just enough of the toasty malt that that goes first. And then all of this hops hit me. But it's beautiful, fruity, elegant hops. And then since they're both trying to be on your taste buds, it goes with it. So it has like a little finish, but it's very delicate and light. It's not like sometimes like grapefruit IPAs can really kick my butt. Cause it feels like it's just beating the back of my taste buds to death and doesn't want to go without a fight before it goes down in my stomach and i'm like ah you know like a nine volt batteries in there but this that toastiness that deep richness really helps this hops for me to enjoy it i had my first one at barrel house and over in st louis was obispo right yes yeah and uh 
I didn't really know about it, but I heard about it because we looked it up. And I go, Black IPA? Well, let me try that. And I didn't even think twice about it because I just never had it. And I got the same thing. This was a little um, deeper, smoother, but it was still the same thing. Both, both the flavors joined forces, even though they're technically like fighting for the same territory. So for me, I'm a fan. I'll be looking for those Cascadia ones or whatever they're called. And I'll be looking for the India Black Indian Pale Ale. This would probably qualify as a... Well, they have as, as Indian Pale Ale, but you can also use um, American ingredients to make an American Pale Ale. So Black American Pale Ale, Indian, they all follow the same characteristics, even though technically there could be an argument over it. So for me, I love it. If you've been drinking some of the beers I had, if you've been lucky enough and you've been enjoying most of them, this is one you got to try. You got to see if you're in it or not. And this is one where I can see a Porter lover or a Brown Ale lover for the first time be like, okay, these hops are really speaking to me today. They're really touching my soul. Let me see what this is about. And then the hop heads, like, I got my hops. I'm happy. This is a deep beer. It's going to fill me up. I'm going to have a good time. So cheers to this one. Salud. Soka Brewing is not far from me. I went to them. Chill spot. They're in a warehouse. Um, wonderful people. I had a great time. It's a beautiful setup. Your part of the benches are outside. The rest is by the bar. And you can see the walk-in cooler. We have all their beers uh, cold and canned. And when they're fermenting on the corner, it's just a really cool spot. So if you get a chance, go. I'm not trying to hype this beer up. I just really love it. It's just, it's just, I can't help it. If I love it, then there's nothing I can do, but highly recommend for you to try it. So I highly recommend you to try it. Um, there should be maybe some few out of not, then you're going to have to go to the brewery and see if they still got it. And obviously you're looking for Tuxedo T-shirt is what the name of it, straight up. If that's all you remember, Tuxedo T-shirt, they'll know what you're talking about. So... Here you go with that. I wish you luck and I hope you really enjoyed this video.